Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this kitty inspired look. Um, I did um, get some inspiration from a picture that Matt Cosmetics did post on Instagram a couple of days ago. I will try and put it in the screen. If not, you'll see my reference photo later on in the video. But um, I'm actually like so obsessed with how this came out. I did add a couple of my own things. Um, I added uh, gold glitter just for a little bit more of a spunk and I'm kind of like obsessed with it so yeah if you guys are running late for a costume if you have a party if you're you know less last minute invited somewhere for Halloween um this is totally awesome the only thing I used were like two or three eyeshadows I used a dark brown to sketch out where I wanted all of my lines then I used a black eyeshadow to give it a little bit more depth and then um depth and then I use a black liquid liner, but be smarter than me and probably use a gel. Um, you'll probably have a little bit more control with gel and you'll probably be able to blend out the gel liner and make it a little bit more, um, you know, blendable if you want to call it that. But I'm absolutely like obsessed with the way that this came out. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this, um, I'm going to say MAC Cosmetics inspired cat look, then please keep watching. Hey guys, so we're going to start with prepping our face. I'm using the Makeup Forever Base Smoothing Primer and then I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I'm just going to buff that in with an oldie but a goodie Sigma F80, the Flat Top Kabuki. I'm going to spritz some MAC Fix Plus on it just to get a little bit more of a dewy finish to the skin. I feel like I haven't used this brush with you guys on camera yet, but this used to be my go-to and I'm so excited. I've been using it every day now since I filmed this. So I'm so happy it's back into my life again. You seriously need this brush or something like this brush. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm going in circular buffing motions with this brush because sometimes you can get the bristle strokes on it, but you really want to just buff it in circular motions. And then I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and just throw that underneath my eye to cancel out any red or blue tints that you may see. Also on the eyelids to prime them. And then I'm going to go in with the Damp Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, blend that out, and then also go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to just set that. If you are oily, you might want to set your whole face. I just kind of set my eye area. But if you want to set your whole face before you put the eyeshadow on, go right ahead. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Mocha Eyeshadow and just start sketching out where I want the lines. So I am referencing that MAC Cosmetics photo, but this is where you can have a free-for-all and just throw, throw on any lines. You can go squeakly, and then once you're done doing that, take the excess product on the brush and just sweep them outwards towards like your ears so you kind of get that hair effect. And then just draw, you know, shapes and squiggly lines and all that fun stuff. We're going to keep repeating the same steps as we go in with each color. So we're going to go in with this dark brown, then we're going to go in with a black eyeshadow, and then later on we'll go in with a black eyeliner. So it's Halloween guys, so don't be scared to pay a lot of attention to detail. For the nose, I am going to carve out the upper third part of my bridge. So that's where you see the harsh lines. And then with whatever excess product was on my brush, I did kind of drag it down to my nostrils and, you know, all that fun stuff. And then I'm going to go in with the tip of my nose, color that in, and then go down on the cupid's bow and definitely outline those lines as well. And then also overdraw my lip and also extend out my smile line and just bring down my line to my lower lip just you know in the inner third of it. So in the last with this color I'm just gonna add any extra shading and extra lines that I want and then I'm gonna go in with this black. It's from an Anastasia Shadow Couture palette. You can use any kind of black that is available to you or whatever kind of black that you have. And then just go in and darken the lines. And then also in any kind of shapes that you may you definitely want to darken them just to add a little bit of dimension and depth into it. And also, like I said earlier, make sure with whatever excess product is on your brush, you're swiping it outwards towards your ears so it kind of looks more of like a cat hair effect. 
You could totally leave it this way if you want, but I am going to go in with a black liquid liner. This is the NYC liquid liner in black. You can go in with whatever kind of liner you want. Be smarter than me and use a gel liner. I feel like oh, with a gel liner, I would have had a little bit more control. With the liquid liner, it didn't... It didn't come out bad and I didn't mind the outcome of it, but it definitely takes, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to dry. So you just have to be super, super careful and you definitely need a steady, you definitely need a steady hand. So if you don't have a steady hand, I definitely recommend you use a gel. So you just want to keep going over it until you get it as black as you want, until you get it as intense as you want, until you feel like you have enough sharp black lines. And then you can go ahead and dance it out because you feel like it's coming along the way you really want it to. Then for the lips, I'm going in with a red liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade American Doll. I felt like this was a little bit too red, so later on I do go in with Seraphine. And then I'm just taking the colors Fudge and Morocco from that Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette and just blending it all over my face wherever I feel like I need a little bit more of dimension or a little bit more coloring because sometimes you don't want to look so flat. And then I also added it on my eyelids just to give a little bit more dimension up there as well and also around the hairline and any other lines. I did also go in with the NYX glitter liner. It's a gold glitter liner and I just kind of added that to wherever I want. So once you've done that, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye! Kitty, 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 can't you see? Sometimes you work just hypnotize me.